Madeline Billy is an autistic student at Kalan Inclusive Education Resource Center in Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. She is one of the 50 students at the Learning Center for Children with Hearing, Sight, Speaking and Mobility Challenges as well as Autism and Attention Disorders. Regular hand washing for the children and their caretakers who come with them to school was a challenge due to lack of a proper hand washing station and a water tank to ensure a regular supply of safe water. Thanks to the funding from the Australian government through the Education in Emergency Response and Recovery Plan, these challenges have been addressed. The children and the caregivers now have an outdoor user-friendly hand-washing station where they can wash their hands regularly with soap and water anytime. In addition, the centre now has a regular supply of safe water for drinking and for the hygiene needs thanks to this new water tank. But I was playing with the dirty things was come to my hand after I play and I come and wash my hands. Now we have these hand washing facilities. We are more glad that we can teach our students and guardians proper hand washing and to make sure the students are washing their hands regularly. Government is prioritizing an inclusive approach to wash as many special needs children in PNG are still left out. For wash facilities in schools, we want all of them to be user-friendly and accessible to all students, including the ones with special needs. Kalan Inclusive Education Resource Centre is just one of the schools where UNICEF supports access to wash for people with special needs in PNG. UNICEF supports an inclusive approach to wash, leaving no one behind including people with special needs, both young and old.